you, Carla. I appreciate you calling in. Thank I appreciate you. it. He's right. I mean, he's right. Like this is this is how we get shut out, and nobody ever talks about how we get shut out. We just talk about being aspirational. And part of the reason we can't understand how we get shut out is very simple. Let me tell you a quick story before I go to the next caller. A quick story I want to tell is about. Do you all know? You everybody knows Paul Ryan. You know this. You know leader of the house and all this. Everybody, the Republican Party, Paul Ryan. And he used to work for the tort. He used to be a waiter at the Tortilla Coast, right? Um, I've been to the Tortilla Coast several times when I worked in D.C. Um, awful Mexican food, but that's not why you go to the Tortilla Coast. You go because it's close to Capitol Hill and you're there with other people who are on Capitol Hill. That's why you go. You don't go there to get the food because the food is bleh. Anyway, he often talked about I, I used to be a waiter, and I used to be all of this, and I've, I've come up, and all of this stuff. That's what, that's what he talked about. And it occurs to me that, like, people like him, he and people like him are part of the reason that black people, like, that we can't understand wealth. Because Paul Ryan will tell this story. This is the same person that will be talking to you. And in, in, in your job and being saying, well, I used to wait tables too. White people poor too, just like you. And what he doesn't tell you is that when his father died of a heart attack, they, that he left over $400,000. He doesn't tell you that his mother um, started, a, started some kind of investment fund with half a million dollars. He doesn't tell you that his, his aunt started another fund, which he benefited from, of half a million dollars. And he doesn't tell you from, from his father's stuff, he got $50,000 at, at age 28. I mean, by age 30. And by age 28, he was, a, he, had, he was worth like a million dollars. By age 28. And so what I realize is that part of the reason we don't understand wealth is because people just keep lying to us. Like, people keep telling us, like, no, 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 you don't understand. Like, I'm poor just like you. And, and, I, and, and we were like, oh, he used to wait tables. He must be poor. He must have been poor. He used to do, I used to wait tables too. And so we see this affinity. So we diminish our own claim. Because of what we're being told by somebody. Not understanding that rarely do we know the full story. Paul Ryan took that job so he could say at a certain point, I used to be a waiter. He didn't need to be a waiter. And you know, there's a great book. I want to, at some point, I think I'm going to try to interview the, the writer, Chuck Collins, born on third base. But somebody in Twitter, when they were talking about Paul Ryan, said Paul Ryan was born on third base. He never could have hit a triple. And he couldn't have. He never could have hit a triple. He had to be born there. And he was born there. How you be worth a million by 28? How many of us can say, I was worth a million dollars by 28? But I guess you what? I know you what? Barack Obama was worth like half a million. He got from his grandma, but we, we thought he was black like us. But, you know, I, I think that's, there's so many, re we have to deconstruct why we don't understand what it means to be black. You know, I, you know, this is, you know, we're talking about generations. And we're not just talking about slavery. We're talking about generations of black bodies that built this country and now have nothing to show for it, right? No wealth, no nothing. And this is where we are. And you can't, you, there is no amount of magic. And that's what Diddy pushes is magic. There's no amount of magic that's going to fix that. You fix that through policy. And if you want to ask me for a solution, the beginning of the show, we got to focus on policy and not presentation.